Huh. In Fallout 4, there's a lot more ambiguity to the actions, I could say. Oh, someone new to play with. Look at the luck I have lately. I was just starting well, by to... golly. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. Let's go, let's go down to the market, have some penny whistles and moon pies. <laughs> and you are? A game? Okay, I guess. I knew you would. It's well, a really simple game. Well, I was actually expecting you to have news eyes. Well, folks. Timmy Newsman, who's that? I think we just broke the fourth wall. Thanks on my face. You got moved by. Make you cry, and then come back here so we can talk some more. Okay. I'm gonna go fuck up your son, just so you know. Also nice things I thought I were hearing today. No, come here, kid. No, come back. I'm not. do you think you are selling lemonade? It's my turf, bitch. Lemonade here. Get away from me, you crazy old bat. I'm serious. Get the hell away from me. Oh! Okay, so I completed that goal. Ah, there it is. <laughs> you sure showed him, didn't you? I suppose it wasn't the most cerebral way to deal with the situation. I love the scientists. Like, yeah, I want to be a, like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. And with that, you win a prize. Your prize is one question which I will answer to the best of my ability. Uh. Oh, that would be a good one. Uh, what is this place? Tranquility Lane is a simulation, a reality designed to play all to the denizens of all one way. It was my last and greatest project. I'm quite grateful that I was placed directly in charge of it. There have been unexpected benefits to living here. Uh, mm hmm, mm hmm. What kind of benefits? Okay. You'll have to prove your worth by time. Continue to amuse me. And I may answer your questions. What do you want me to do? Pay a visit to the Rockbells. They're very happily married. And I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage. I will. Mm-hmm. As the fallout turns. <laughs> That's it. No problem. Okay. Uh, break up the Rockwell's marriage without killing either of them. Mm hmm. Good day. <laughs> so this one's going to be a little tricky. Okay, they're downstairs. What the hell am I doing? Where? Oh. Good day. You guys could have said something to me. <laughs> hey there, sport, how's it going? Uh, sport. <laughs> you think you want to tell me about your marriage? Now see here. That's not anything for you to be asking about. Our marriage is our business and it's private. You know, all joking aside, <laughs> some stranger walks into your house <laughs> and asks about your marriage. I think he's on the right track, is all I'm saying. 
Uh, Betty wants me to break up your marriage. Okay. Hey, if you say so, man. Better be careful. He might write his congressman and give you a stern talking to. <laughs> Hi. Hi there. I hate to break it to you, but I saw your husband kissing some other woman. Twenty-three percent. I doubt I'm gonna get it. What a horrible thing to say. Is that your idea of a joke? Yeah. I, it was. Anything you can tell me about your marriage? Our marriage? Goodness. What kind of question is that? Mabel didn't put you up to this, did she? What a silly thing to ask about. Hmm. Oh, right. I remember how to do this now. Uh, wait. Th was this the house? No, it was over here. I remember this now. We're good. And diary. I just don't know what to do anymore. When Roger's not in that stupid basement, he's outside sweet-talking that hussy Martha Simpson. He claims there's nothing between them, but I know it's all a lie. I found a woman's pendant once on Roger's workbench, but of course I said nothing. That's me, Janet Rockwell, prim and proper housewife, living a perfect life here on Tranquility Lane. Some days I wish I really had beat her to death with that rolling pin, then Roger would know I'm the only girl in the world. Hmm. You don't say. Good day. Yeah, I'll leave incriminating evidence on... Rolling pin? Uh, incriminating evidence for Uh, you're Janet. Okay. I gotta find Martha. Wait, his mom's name is Martha? No. Martha! <laughs> 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 he saw that coming. Uh, your Pat? No, 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 no. Simpsons? Nope. Uh. You all right, man? Okay. Shit. There we go. Uh, abandoned house? No, I don't want to go there. Why would anyone go into a nice abandoned house? I will beat you with this rolling pin if you don't shut up. Shut your mouth, old woman! Okay. How will I ever defend it against a 10 year old kid with a rolling pin? <laughs> <laughs> My well, is... Exactly. How are you today? Nothing like the smell of apple pie, is there? I can't get enough of it. Look out! <laughs> the lost episode to my three sons. <laughs> hold up, hold up. I gotta Frankenstein this bitch. Uh, um. Uh. Need a hand? Don't break a leg. Ah. God. Bitch, give me a hand here. That's very funny, Buzz. This is serious. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about Toy Story. Uh, simulation prevents you from tampering with bodies. Good enough. Looks legit to me. <laughs> Sorry for everybody who just heard me hit the mic. I didn't mean to do that. We'll never forgive you. 
They never do. Hey, bro, your wife's a psychopath. Well, Martha Simpson's dead, and Janet killed her. Look, here's a rolling pin. I know she somehow severed limbs with a rolling pin. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> Oh, 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 I gotta see this. Well, it's a crime of passion, really. She'll probably just get, like, maybe ten years in prison. What on earth are you talking about, Roger? How could you? How could you do that to her? Have you lost your mind? Roger, stop it. You're scaring me. You should be in a sanitarium or a prison. You're out of your damn mind. You just stay away from me, you hear me? Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, bro. This folks is why you should lock the doors. I'm out of here. Little kids will come in and ruin everything. Come on, bitch. Come on. Put up a fight. I'm out of here. I'm, uh... I know. She's probably going to chastise me for that one, but I don't care. Well, it's, uh, I gotta admit, this is kind of fun. What can I do next? I'm pleased to see I'm not the only one being entertained. You are far more agreeable than your partner. If you wish for more, then so be it. But let's raise the stakes a bit this time. I'd like you to kill Nathan Phillips. But do be creative about it. Beating her to death just won't suffice. Put some effort into it. <laughs> She'll never see it coming. Music to my ears. <clears throat> now, a lot of people just use the oven here. I don't want to do that. First off. Wow, we're running a computer inside a simulation. It's a simulation inside of a simulation. Disable security screening parameters. Staying clear. Get the fuck out of here. Initiate cleaning program. Hey, clean that shit up. You're being honest with me. I think you'll find that I have been quite honest with you thus far. You have no discernible reason to mistrust me. In the Except, dark, you know, the fact that you have me going around killing people. Don the mask and become the pint size slasher. Use the knife to eliminate all of the residents of Tranquility Lane. Who the hell is the pint size slasher? Sounds like fun. I thought you might find it amusing. It draws upon an old urban legend, a story told over campfires many years ago. The residents have all heard the story and will fear them. Go forth and make 
Make me proud. Make me proud, person I just met 15 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, real quick, though, I want to do something. Uh, yeah, I'm going to save over that file. We're done with that now. So, anybody want to see what happens when you piss him off? Or her, whatever. Why not? I don't have any money. <laughs> Cold blooded. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. <laughs> so don't punch Betty in the face. Or in the back of the head or anywhere for that matter. Alright, so You know, this does kinda of make me wonder though, like Seeing how this is a simulation, and clearly some people are stronger than others, I wonder how high his stats are in his own well, simulation. Well, let me look. Oh, wait. <laughs> Betty, or whatever her name is. Yeah! Super, super oh, that'll give you nightmares. I'm coming for you! <laughs> oh look, my first victim. <laughs> Are you going to trip over something? You know, bitches always be tripping. Worth it. Well, let's recap. You sever <laughs> limbs with a rolling pin. And I can, can't do it. <laughs> I'm still figuring that out. Video games. <laughs> You went upstairs. You cornered yourself, bitch. Where are you? You dead! Now, now is not the time to lose one's head. Now. Who else? Oh, he's in his basement. Run! It's the pint size slasher! <laughs> oh, gotcha! You are just a torso. I want to ride my tricycle. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> Gotta admit, though, there's a certain appeal to being evil. Don't you agree? Unsettling thought of the day. <laughs> Come on, I've, I've always been a nice guy. There's a certain appeal to evil. You gotta agree with that. Like I said, keep your doors locked and your gun at the ready. Dylan might be coming for you. Oh, oh, come on, don't run from me. You're mine, Bill. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, can I kill the dog? Can I kill the dog? Unconscious. I, I, I know about the dog. Ugh! <laughs> 
Especially that one lady's like limbs got me severed. That was amazing. Like you just slashed her and slashed her and slashed her and it wouldn't do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just broke the simulation. <laughs> okay, that'd kill his wife or whatever she is. Where are you? Surprise, motherfucker! Oh, she got away. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, now, see, you're insulting me right now. Where, wait, where are you? Where did you go? Oh. I didn't just sever that limb. I made her head explode. Because I am the bomb. It's a beautiful day here. You know, just a black kid in a white clown mask running around with a knife killing people. Well, I am a black kid. Don't give me that look, Koga. Hi. Are you upstairs? The most indecisive victim ever. Oh no! Whatever. Where are you? No, no. Yeah, run right towards me. That's how you die quicker. And didn't I already kill you? The knife is all bloody. I like it. Alright, how many more we got? Just the one more house? Cool. This feels like it's taking a lot longer than it should have. Oh, I saved you specifically for last. You mean like die? <laughs> well, that was interesting. I'm sure you do that with a knife, but. <laughs> I sent her ass flying, so it was cool. Yay! I want to go down the slide as a, as a victory. Whee! Most enjoyable. Most enjoyable indeed. I haven't felt this exhilarated in years. I did what you want. Or wait, no. That was, that sure was fun. I had a distinct impression when you hit yourself. We are alike, you and I. Now, you ask for the means to heal Tranquility Lane, and so I grant it to you. The door is open. You are, of course, welcome to stay a bit longer if you like. Eh, I'm good. That was fun. Now, I want to see if I can kill my dad. Again, another sentence you never thought you'd hear today. <laughs> I would be too if I stood there all that time. Don't worry, Dad. It's going to be painless. I have a particular set of skills. 
Stop right now, be the Fuck off, Liam Neeson! <laughs> Nope, can't kill him. You can just knock him out. Yeah, I didn't think you could. Ah! Zombie! Okay. Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but what are you doing here? Uh, I want answers from you. What's wrong with you? Why did you leave me like that? That's where you belonged. You were a knuckle, capable of fending for yourself, and you had a good life ahead of you. What's out here is my task, my responsibility. I never wanted you to have any part of this insanity. I just wanted you live in an underground bunker for the rest of your life. What about me? What am I supposed to do? Yes, what about you? Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out here. Well, I killed the overseer for one. You were supposed to stay there and make a life for yourself there, not out here. Screw the vault. I didn't need that place. Is that so? You're 19 years old. Are you so sure you know what you want from life already? I suppose it doesn't matter now. I suspect Dad, I'm not going with you. I have other things to take care of. Really? You're not going to join me? Coming all this way after me, I'd have thought you'd want to help. I have to keep going. I can't stop now. I'm going back to Rivet City. Meet me there if you change your mind. I... It would be good to work with you, son. Were you about to tell me you love me and then changed your mind? Because if, you, if, you, if that's what it was, you're an asshole. Get the fuck out of here. Yes! 